Hi, I'm Sean Coakley, founding member of Caliber Biometrics, also known around here sometimes as the chief evangelist. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about VO2 and VO2 max and the difference between the two and how Caliber approaches the world of VO2. Caliber provides a real-time measurement of your VO2. To measure your VO2 max using Caliber, you would essentially need to perform a procedure on your own by getting on a treadmill or running outdoors and gradually increasing your effort and charting your progress of your VO2 with the Caliber app. In fact, Caliber will tell you at the end of any session your peak VO2, which is the highest VO2 measured during that session. If you drive yourself hard enough, that peak VO2 should be pretty close and maybe theoretically even your true max. But as you probably know, the telltale sign is the plateauing VO2 while the speed and effort continue to increase. The only difference is that Caliber does not control or record your treadmill speed, the procedure if you will, let alone drive you through a pre-programmed sequence of increasing effort that will reveal your VO2 max. There is no reason you could not get high quality VO2 values with the experience of Caliber, but it's up to you or a training companion to implement or supervise the progressive effort that you will safely push all the way to your limit. This is not, at least not yet, within the scope of Caliber. Our VO2 reading is a real-time measure of oxygen consumption, and each person has a maximum rate of oxygen metabolism that they are physiologically capable of reaching called VO2 max. Generally speaking, the better your fitness, the higher your VO2 max. During very high intensity training, you should see the value of your VO2 approach the VO2 max. As you would improve your cardiovascular fitness, your VO2 max increases. No peak VO2 refers to the highest value of VO2 attained within a particular measurement session or time interval. Whereas VO2 max refers to the highest value of VO2 that your body is able to reach under the most intense effort. Every session has its peak VO2, but only if your workout is extremely intense will your peak VO2 reflect your VO2 max. Caliber calculates absolute VO2, expressed in standard liters per minute, or SLPM. Many athletes are interested in relative VO2, where it is divided by the body weight in kilograms and usually expressed in milliliters per minute, per kilogram of body weight. Without your body weight as input, Caliber cannot compute relative VO2, but you can easily do the calculation for yourself by dividing your weight in kilograms and then multiply by 1,000 to get it in milliliters. We may add relative VO2 to our app in the future, but for now, enjoy monitoring your continuous VO2.